All right, guys, we have been working on a secret project that we have hidden from you guys and we can finally finally reveal it so five years ago we started this youtube channel as a bit of fun our videos started going crazy viral and we built a huge dvg community and our lives changed so much because of you guys watching our videos building something like this as a family has been the most fun and crazy adventure the next chapter of our journey was when we launched our clothing line Devu. We knew we wanted to build a brand that was one of the best. It had to be so good that people would wear it even if they didn't watch our videos. It had to be something that we could be super proud of. And when we launched it, the response was insane. Thousands of you guys were on the website for our first launch, which sold out in one minute. And every drop since then has literally sold out within a few minutes. Guys, this brand means everything to us. Over the years, we've been offered by companies to make basic products. They just wanna put our name on it and sell it to our audience to make some money. And we said no to all of these. We only wanna build things that will last forever. We only wanna create the best products. So we set out with a goal to make the best fake tan product on the market. And guys, I think we did it. This isn't some pre-existing fake tan formula that we just stuck our name on. We wanted to start from scratch with raw ingredients and make a completely custom fake tan. Casey and Grace were fed up with that patchy, streaky, biscuit smelling, skin irritating, orange looking, bed sheet ruining, dries out your skin kind of fake tan. My friends would always be like, you look orange. You need to get better friends, not better fake tan. Yeah. <laughs> there are issues and I feel like every girl goes through them. And after many, many samples, we finally, with the help of expert chemists, came up with the perfect fake tan formula. We wanted it to be the best fake tan for sensitive skin and of course had the best color, something that looks natural and you feel confident wearing. And the smell is unreal. So today we're gonna take you on the journey of the last few days of bringing this brand to life. So guys, we haven't even told you the name of our fake tan brand. The so. name is Soul Skin. Bruh. How would you take that from <laughs> The name is Soul that? Skin. It's got soul, baby. Today we have a really exciting day. We've got our first photo shoot for Soul Skin. The launch for Soul Skin has come at a time when Casey's doing her A-levels. Casey isn't gonna be here. She's actually got like a three and a half hour exam. Grace has got school at the minute, but she's then gonna join. We've also got a meeting with our business partner, George. George is actually bringing the final branding and packaging for Soul Skin. They always say like the big boss is whoever has like the biggest laptop. Don't be fooled either, I'm looking at crepes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, just hey, in my house. Yeah, yeah. Hey, okay. Yeah, good, thanks. All good. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. We've got the packaging, guys. You want to see it? Yeah. Is it time? I don't want to see it. I'm too scared. Yeah. And this has the final packaging, Sarah, that you signed off in terms of colour palettes. And what do you think? I'll let, you, I'll let you tell me. Oh, I no, no, absolutely no. love it. <laughs> oh, it matches your top. You ready? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. So nice. That looks great. Looks insane. I actually feel really guilty that we're getting to see it before Casey and Grace. And then these are the face tan drops. Oh, that's so nice. I said he's going to try it tonight. Yeah, oh, I am. I'm the only one who hasn't tried I it. I said he's going to come. I'll do it. Right, you do it tonight. Just to bear in mind, this is all the user trials. So this is people outside of our network as well, because it's really important yeah. to get unbiased feedback. Give us the good news slash bad news. What is the moment of truth? Yeah. We've asked key questions and given people the ability to score out of 10, how it applied to your skin, and the average was nine and a half out of 10. How do you like the fragrance? 10 out of 10. How long did it last? 9.9 .9 out of 10. How was the finish, the bronze effect? 10 out of 10. Oh, so amazing. you've done that incredibly well. Talking to people about the kind of product they want, it's, feedback has kind of been like, if you want something for sensitive skin, you're compromising on the color. Yeah. If you've got something that you're really happy with the color, you're not necessarily happy with like or the, the way smell, it applies or, or the smell. Because it's a sensitive skin, you exactly. can have the nice smell. I know we've got a premium product. Like I feel very conscious of the pricing yeah. and like making sure that our audience gets like maximum value from yeah. this. Is there any way like we can come down on the retail cost of this? It's not just a regular tan where you're using like off the shelf ingredients. We've really developed something ultimately costs more to produce. So it's very difficult to get the price any lower for the bundle, which already has a much higher worth than what we're pricing it at. It's so hard because what I want to do is I want to bring out the best product, but I also want it to be affordable for our audience. Yeah. Joel and Sarah, like in, in all honesty, if you, if you did want to get the price down further from what we've already reduced it to, then we'd obviously need to compromise on the ingredients. Obviously we set out to be the leading tan product and the best finish. So I know, we want to, I know we've got a good product and I know I want to bring out something that's different 
sell products on the market, so I don't want to compromise yeah. my ingredients. So Grace is just pulling up now. Obviously, she hasn't seen the final package. Yet. Hey, this is a nice welcome. I'm excited, I'm, but I'm a bit nervous. Ready? Yes. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, it's insane. How oh my god, the colours. Tan drop. Oh my god. The mousse. So nice. And last but not least. I didn't realise yeah. that. It's had it imprinted on. I love it. You happy with it? Yeah, very happy. But it is pretty manic in here, so we've got hair and makeup happening over here. We've got models waiting. It's pretty full on in here. Though, it is. It is. It's very noisy. A bit chaotic. Grace and Honey are getting content. What are you guys actually doing? Filming. Filming yes. on track, but the sun. Our uh, helper is not, not here. Our helper. <laughs> oh, it's it, just makes videos. it makes videos look so much better because it gives like that kind of golden tint, but it's gone behind now. Guys, when you see these super slick videos on Soul Skin, and you think, wow, they look so good, and then you've seen where they were filmed. Oh, yeah. You can see the magic. With the two of them that did it, these two yeah. numb nuts. <laughs> All right, so we're back home from the photo shoot and uh, I did promise George on the photo shoot today that I was going to try Soul Skin for the first time ever. So me and Sarah are about to fake tan. So I think you should do the dark and I'll do the very dark. That's already looking really nice. I don't feel like on the camera it's the same as what I'm seeing in real life. The colour it goes on as is pretty much the colour it stays as. Oh, it smells so nice. All right, so I'm just going to do my arm on camera and then I'm going to do the rest of me off camera because you know I'm not really like photo shoot ready. Ooh, babes. Oh, is that too much? That is way too much. Oh okay. gosh. You have done too much. Oh like, no. What was I thinking? Oh gosh. Are you saying anything to me? Oh, I see what you mean actually. The camera's making this look really orange, but it's not. Excuse the hair, but I just thought, so I've, I've done the tan and it's actually such a nice colour. This is my normal colour. White. Thanks. <laughs> and this is the colour. I literally go out like this now, and because it smells nice. Yeah. Alright, so the ultimate test is going to be going into bed with white sheets. Is it going to be transferred onto the sheets? That normally happens, yeah, right? Yeah, I feel like it is going to, and we haven't been fair because we've literally just done it. We've just got into bed. I, I definitely don't feel as sticky. That is for sure. It feels like it's dry. Good morning. Okay, so this is the tan reveal. Feeling very tanned, really, really nice, really natural. So I did the tan drops on my face. I added um, four tan drops this time, um, just because I wanted it to be um, quite a strong colour. But let me show you, um, well, the mess of the bedroom. This is Joel's side. So as you can see, like a little bit, but not very much. And then my side, there's like nothing on mine, but actually nothing on mine. Look at that, for just having two people have fake tanned all night. All right, good morning, guys. I'm actually buzzing because look at my tan. Look at Sarah's tan. We need to normalize men wearing fake tan because do you know what? Like, how much more confident do you feel when you're actually tan? Oh, I, yeah, get why, I get why girls fake tan a lot. In all seriousness, no. No, what? In no. all seriousness, no. <laughs> In all seriousness. <laughs> Genuinely, I'm actually buzzing more about the tan now because obviously I've heard everyone's feedback but now I've used it, yeah. I'm like so confident. The one thing that I'm really excited about is showing Casey the new packaging. Ooh. Are you excited? I am. I have it here. Zum, bum, bum. Oh my gosh. That's really nice. So Do you know what it's giving? Clean glass deck. Oh my god. It's like Christmas. Oh my god, I haven't even seen this either. The packaging on here. This looks so nice. You can picture it on like shelves in the high street, can't you? Yeah, you actually can. Oh my gosh. Velvet mitts are the best. It's got the little logo. So we just got to the photo shoot and all the models tanned yesterday, so all the models are looking really, really nice and tanned. Their tans actually look so good. Just seeing everyone and like seeing glimpses of the pictures, their tan actually looks so good. Everyone looks yeah. really, really nice. So we have one of the models shooting right now. We're literally right in the way of the photographer. And we got Sasha over there. It's going really well. Yeah, you happy with all the content? Yeah, so. I think we've yeah. some really good before and after. Awesome. How um, did you get that? So the photographer put the mirror on the floor outside and then put the bottle 
like on top, so the clouds like moving because it's a time lapse. That looks insane. Yeah, it looks so good, doesn't it? We're in the way again. I'm sure that at one minute they're gonna have a picture of my bum. <laughs> <laughs> so yesterday you guys met George, and you would have probably heard him say that me and him were gonna go home last night and fake tan. So obviously I went home and fake tan. I, I did. George, George did it. But what happened? You said we were both gonna go and use the product yesterday. I bottled it, mate. I really bottled it. But yours looks incredible. Teeth are even whiter, by the way. So Sarah yeah. just requested to follow. Quick, quick, quick. First one. Oh. Refresh it. Yay! <laughs> Imogen, what is your thoughts on the fake tan? Absolutely insane. Like full stop, straight up, tan out of tan, insane. It, honestly, it went on so well. No streaks. Smells absolutely insane. Like this one was just to die for. I'm um, so glad you. Do you, is it genuinely, is it no, your favourite tan? Heart, You're not just saying that for we the did, vlog. We didn't, pay her, we didn't pay her to say that, Jane. No, we didn't. <laughs> no, we genuinely we didn't. Yeah. We didn't. No, honestly, like, it is such a, like, I mean, look at that. Yeah. It's an amazing colour. It looks great. No, no, it looks great. No, oh, yeah, no, no, no toe picks. <laughs> Casey and Grace are always on at me about that. Don't build my toes. I'm like, put some socks on. Jeez. I, I, when I was tanning and you kept going down, I was like, get my toes. What out. is everyone so weird about toes for? I'm going to introduce you to Emma, who has been working so, so hard on getting us the perfect formula for our fake tan. I work in new product development for the Soul Skin brand, uh, their contract manufacturer. We've been manufacturing sunless tanning products for over 20 years. Um, I think it's fair to say we're probably the UK's biggest manufacturer of sunless tanning products. So you've been doing it longer than Casey's been alive? Probably, So yes. you guys are experts in it? I would like to think so, yes. <laughs> yeah. Emma, what is it about Soul Skin that is unique and makes it so special? I think it's because you guys had a really clear vision of what it was that you were looking to deliver to the customer. So something that was really, really moisturising, worked great with sensitive skin. So we've worked with you to develop a unique ingredients complex using things like organic aloe vera, hyaluronic acid, and papaya and ginger extract. Oh, but I know, <laughs> it sounds like a smoothie. <laughs> the feedback from everyone is always as well, like how good the tan smells, which is not a thing you normally say about fake tan. Well, you guys have got an incredible fragrance. So you've selected one that's got some great tropical ingredients in there. We've got apples, we've got papayas, and then you've got some really nice base notes like vanilla and amber. So oh, it does stop the base like of the formula. Like smoothie. See, guys, you cannot drink it. It is not a smoothie. Look at all their tans. So nice. Got one, two, three photographers now. I get behind the scenes. Yeah. Mine's probably not even that good. I probably won't ever get used, but yeah. I like to keep on my phone. It's for memories. I'm trying to get behind the scenes. Yeah. Let's get. Yeah, this one is really good. My favorite. This is Josie, one of our models. So he's so, so, so well today. You look amazing. And you tan nice. Yes, I do really like it. So I've heard that like, you have eczema and you have struggled before with other fake tans. So what were those struggles before this? Um, it was more like the fake tan would really cling to my dry spots and then after I washed it off, it would still be there. But whereas yeah. this tan, um, it clung a little bit, but as soon as I washed it off, it completely went and my skin was like really hydrated and it wasn't dry at all. Oh, it didn't sting, it didn't burn. Like, as soon as I washed it off, yeah. my skin was really hydrated and everything oh, like that. So yeah, it was really good. I would love to like, wear this again like yeah, I actually yeah. won't wear this oh, again amazing. so yeah so doing the photo shoot, obviously all the models had to fake tan and the, although the models are paid to be here to actually do the pictures, they're not paid or asked to basically recommend the tan. Yeah. So hearing the feedback from the models being like, genuinely this is like the best fake tan we've used and then hearing Josie's feedback about like the sensitive skin thing. It's, it's just ticking like the box of knowing that we did get it right. Casey has to leave the shoot because she has to go revise for her exams, studying yeah. hard. I actually really like revising. It makes me feel motivated. Never thought I'd hear you say Productive. that. Productive, that's the word. If you could just move the stuff off your stairs because you have left that there for about a week. Yes, so there's no do you know why? Because I like get back from school at around six, yeah. And I'm so drained. Okay, no, if you could move this stuff from your no, stairs. No, and then I'm just too tired and then do you know what I'm gonna do? I just wanna go to bed. 
And I, my room's already messy as it is because I haven't had time to clean it. So if I bring up that, it's just going to make it even more messy. So you know what? I think it's quite nice to say. It's a it bit does of not. Give the girl a break. She's working hard. She's yeah. creating her own fake tan brand. She's studying for her exams. Oh my god. And, and she's know, keeping what? her life together oh, all at the same yeah, point. I go, oh, I had like a nearly four hour exam. On. Yeah, well, we've all had a long day. What have you no, I didn't say that. Dad yeah, said you. that to you, actually. You said that, actually. No, I didn't. You Dad said did. that. Right, guys, let's stop arguing. <laughs> I'm actually very really excited for the launch. So my top tip to you guys is to make sure you pre-order and sign up to the soft launch so that you can definitely get your hands on it because trust me, don't want to miss it. So we're getting the last shot of the day, which is a Daewoo mm -hmm. Soul Skin collab, which obviously everyone wants to see. So we're just getting that shot and then it's going to be a wrap. So cool to see Dave and Soul yeah. Skin together. Maybe we need to do Soul Skin every time we do a photo shoot now. Don't do photo Definitely. shoot. <laughs> Go, sweetie. <laughs> Right, we can just give you more day food clothes quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't stop smiling. I'm like, <laughs> well done. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Well, done. Yeah. well done, everyone. This is the first time using this in its branding. I also want to talk about the shoot today because it was so surreal seeing it all come together after working on it for like a year. And like when you're working on it like and then seeing it come to like life and things, it's insane. Um, and just seeing all the models, they all looked stunning. And yeah, I just felt really happy being at the photo shoot. Yeah, I'm going to put you guys here, but we're going to ignore my messy room. Okay, because I have exams, okay? I do not have time to dine in my room at the moment. When we were making this tan, we literally wanted to make it perfect in every area. And especially for all skin types as well, because for me, I have sensitive skin. So I actually have eczema. It's not as bad recently, but the good thing about this tan is it doesn't flare it, doesn't flare it up or dry it out because it's so moisturising, which is obviously incredible because... Having eczema, a lot of tiny little products can just make it absolutely shoot and go red and yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. It honestly goes on so nicely. It's not streaky at all. And when I tell you the smell is like, it's genuinely incredible. And it doesn't give that like, biscuity kind of smell it gives me like holiday vibes but like when you do it on your belly it shows you like the best results look at that guys because i'm gonna have to do all like my chest and back off camera because the angles when i'm doing my back is honestly not a pretty sight like my arms are everywhere trying to get all of my back for the best trick for hands is make sure like there's like hardly anything left on the mitt and then you just use the excess of the mitt to go over your hands like just kind of do it rushly and like quickly and then it literally just puts like a bit of excess tan on. Here is what it looks like straight after. It will pretty much stay this color. And then now I need to do the tan drops. I've actually got a top tip for when you use serum. So obviously you put the moisturizer on and then you put like a few drops in. And then rub it around. And then make sure you're literally putting it like everywhere because obviously you actually can't see what you're doing, so until it's developed in the morning. So just make sure you're putting it like absolutely everywhere. Close your eyes, get your eyelids, and make sure you're blending it into the bottom of your neck as well, like your jawline, because you don't want to have like any lines. And go right up into your hairline. And then once it's like pretty much dried out, as in not dried out, but you've rubbed it all in, I then go over with just more moisturizer just to, I just feel like it makes it more like even. I don't know if that's just wrong, but it's always worked for me. It's the next morning and I'm just gonna open my top line just to, so you can get the full. But look how nice the color looks. I did realize though, I accidentally did half of my neck and I remember doing it as well. Like I remember doing this side when I was doing here and I was like, oh, I'll do this side when I do here and I forgot to do this side. That's how stupid I am. Look how brown I am. Like, it genuinely looks like I've been on holiday. Like, it, do you know what I mean? Like, it actually looks like a nice brown colour. Look how nice and brown my legs look in. Even, like, my face. Like, I didn't put a lot of drops on. Like, you're allowed to put, like, 
I think it's like four to like 12 drops and I would say I put like four on and as you can see it's giving me like a bit of a tan but it's quite like natural it's not streaky or anything um but I just didn't want my face as dark because I'm gonna put makeup on so yeah anyways I'm gonna go get in the shower now and wash it off um and then I'll show you guys what it's like after so I'm now ready and looking very nice and tanned I tell you it's the best tan ever doesn't compare to anything it's so good look at it and I put a white top on just to emphasize this out. So you're probably wondering where, when, and how can I get Soul Skin? For everyone following We Are Soul Skin Instagram, there will be a link to pre-order on the 29th of May at 7 p.m. There is limited stock, so make sure you are following us. The official launch is on the 5th of June, but we could sell out on the pre-order. We cannot wait for you guys to try it. Thank you so much for everything you guys have done for us over the last five years. Your support has made all of this possible and we are so grateful. Yes.